Hi everyone, it's Karen Hooley and today is March, or I'm sorry, February 23rd. I'm sorry, I've been working on stuff for March, so apologize for that. February 23rd and welcome to this week's um, Live Wednesday with Karen. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, for those of you who are just joining me for the first time, I want to let you know that you can find out everything there is to know about me at KarenHooley.com. And see the link here below me. And then also while you're there, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. Here's a direct link to subscribe to my newsletter or you'll get a pop-up or you can scroll to the bottom of any page and subscribe to my newsletter. Um, we All newsletter subscribers get 25% off new releases. They're the first to know about new things happening in the studio. And there's a whole lot more going on in, with my newsletter. If you're not watching on YouTube, make sure you do check out my YouTube channel. This is the link to my YouTube channel here below me. And I go live every Wednesday morning, usually at 9 a.m. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Um, but every morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time, um, every Wednesday morning. I'm ha I need more coffee today, guys. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, so make sure you check out my YouTube channel. And if you're not watching on YouTube, you're probably watching this after the fact, either on my website or on Rumble. And Rumble is another streaming software that I use. And immediately after these videos are live streamed, I have them uploaded to Rumble. So um, make sure you check out my Rumble channel. It's growing by leaps and bounds lately. So make sure you check that out. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook. Um, here's the link to my Facebook page. I'm not super active on Facebook, but I do have a page there. So if you want to follow to just get some news there, if Facebook seems to be your favorite place to get news, go ahead and check that out. And last but not least, the place I'm most active is on Instagram. So make sure you check that link out. Um, at Karen Hooley uh, is my handle. Actually, it's not a link. It's just my handle there. So make sure you're checking me out on um, Instagram. So um, that's it for my intro. I'm going to go head over to the chat room here really quick and see who's all here. Um, let's see. Good morning, Karen. I'm here, but Daisy May is hiding. Uh-oh. Oh, poor little baby getting six te teeth removed. I have a cat like that too. <laughs> She's, we call her gummy now because she has, when she yawns, there's no teeth except for back molars. So Oh, poor baby. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. And I forgot to mention, I know uh, Linda usually says this, is to put your thumbs up also if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel and hitting the thumbs up button. That would be great. I would appreciate that. Um, let's see, Teresa's here. Good morning. It's freezing, windy morning here. Windy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor little Daisy May. I just, oh, give her a hug from me too. And then here's Stephanie in Texas. Good morning from Frigid North, Texas. Um, poor baby. Poor, she's getting all the love today. That's awesome, though. She needs that. Poor baby. All those teeth removed. Um, good morning, Stephanie. Glad you're here. And good morning, Renee. I'm glad you're here, too. And Charlene, good morning. It's overcast in Phoenix. It's, it's cold. I, my husband grew up in Phoenix, so I... And I've been there a couple times with him to visit his grandmother when she was still alive. So, yeah, I know how Phoenix can be. Um, we are actually having a big cold front coming through. Um, it's supposed to warm up later today, but right now it's 18 degrees outside. There have been some snow flurries. We haven't seen them here at our house, but other parts of the Tri-Cities has had some snow. And I think the Yakima Valley might have had some. I know my daughter up in Spokane had a ton um, earlier this week. So it's really, really been cold here. I'm hoping um, I'm hoping we'll start seeing signs of spring soon. The true spring. I always um, I posted a while ago a, a little uh, meme about how we are in fake spring a couple weeks ago because we were having like 60 degree weather and 65 degree weather. <laughs> And it was, it was warm, but then, like I said, now it's 18 degrees. I woke up, I think it was like 12 or 13. I can't remember. So it's slowly getting warmer. 
Okay, guys, um, today is another shortened day. I have a class at 10 a.m. Pacific um, again. But next week, I wanted to let you know, um, next week is Ash Wednesday. I don't have class next week. Um, but I do have to go to Ash Wednesday Mass in the morning at 8 a.m. Pacific, which means I'm pushing next week's live to 10 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. But it will be a full hour. So if you're able to attend then, if it's a better time for those of you who are watching later in the, you know, after this, this live is over, um, make sure you join us. Make sure you mark your calendar for that because I will be going on for a full hour and I will be, um, but I will be an hour later. So there you go. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, but it's the only mass that I can get to on Wednesday without having to go late in, late in the evening. And that just doesn't work for my husband and I. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I don't have a whole lot to chat about. Um, last week I told you I was working on a super secret project and I finished it. And yesterday I was able to get it into a box that's going out in today's mail to the photographer. So that's done. Um, but I did show you last week, I'm going to pull up the banner. Last week I showed you Montana crochet yarn that I got. Oh, I should probably pull the skein off the, the shelf. Um, I showed you this gray yarn that I got it from Montana crochet. And um, can you see that, the label there? Um, and I had two hanks. <laughs> well, I wound one yesterday, uh, not yesterday, Monday. And um, I wound it with another yarn um, that I'm using called, um, so that's an Montana crochet link that you're seeing there. The other yarn I'm using is Inner Yarn Zen yarn. Um, and since it's already in a hank, I mean, it's already in a cake, I'll show it to you on a cake. Um, that's the color. It's called Lupine. Um, I've had this yarn for, this Lupine for probably, I'm going to say five to seven years. Um, and when I very, very first time I ever met Marietta, who's the dyer, behind, uh, one of the dyers behind um, Inner Yarn Zen, she also uh, dies with her daughter. So her daughter's part of Inner Yarn Zen. Um, but uh, Marietta has been a good friend and um, I've been waiting for the right project. And I was organizing, you guys probably can see behind me here, my yarn is all different. <laughs> Um, and I mentioned I'm taking a class on um, a stash. So um, that's what I did as I organized my stash and I found that yarn and that lupine and the boulders ended up next to each other and they were perfect, <laughs> just together perfect. So I'm working on this project. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. Can you guys see that, the colors in there? It's kind of an overlay crochet type of thing. Um, I started this on Monday. Um, I, I had to rip it out a few times to get the, the, the rounds right, but um, it's working. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be a new project for next year, a new pattern. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. I see you guys have some uh, comments here. Let's see. Teresa Morin said, thank you for love for little Daisy May. She was, real, I bet you she was. The, the pain medication, giving the cats the pain medication is crazy. And Kelly's here. Good morning, Kelly. It's good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, so anyway, this project right here is pretty much the only thing I have to show you today. <laughs> I haven't gotten anything new. Um, I was supposed to get yarn yesterday that didn't make it. And I've had to complain to the post office and FedEx because there was an issue. Um, I have a post office box and part of the post office box for business allows me to ship other, other um, postal or other shipping companies. So like FedEx and UPS can both ship to the, to the post office using a special address. And they sent me a thing saying that the business was closed. And after a bunch of phone calls, found out that the FedEx guy went to the door a couple times, different times during the day, and no one would answer the door at the post office to deliver the package, which is frustrating. So I ended up filing a complaint against our office. Hopefully that box will get there um, soon. So I have some, some yarn to show you. In fact, um, 
the yarn company, and I told them that I'd probably open it live on my YouTube channel. So um, I'll probably open it next week <laughs> with you guys. So thank you guys for the comments about my, my cowl. Um, it's turning out really, really well. I really love how it's turning out. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the edging yet, but um, it's almost done, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so it'll be going to a tech edit probably early next month. Um, other than that, I have been working on my striped socks, that um, fall color one that had the green and the or yellow and brown and orange striped sock that I showed you that was my travel project last month for all my doctor's appointments. Um, since those appointments have slowed down, I did a little bit over the weekend and I forgot to bring it upstairs. Um, I'm almost done with the foot of the first one. So also I'll bring that, make sure I bring that up and show you guys where I'm at with that one. Um, other than that, um, the only other news I have for you is tomorrow I start my first treatment for this quarter. Um, I have my treatment tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Pacific. Um, and then I have this week, next week, and the following week. Um, so three weeks. So the, the tw so the 24th, which is tomorrow, the 3rd and the 10th of March. Um, so I'm going to be um, a little fuzzy headed for probably four or five weeks <laughs> starting next week. Um, but other than that, um, I'm, you know, I know what to expect these days. So I've, that's why I, like, I got the super secret project done right away and um, I'm working on little things. But I realized this morning as I was pulling this out to, to make sure it was here to show you guys, um, I, it, it's not even the end of February and I've already designed four patterns for the, for the year. So I'm kind of on this roll of design, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, you guys are commenting so fast here. Love that cow. Love that lupine yarn you showed before Daisy Mae's glaring at me <laughs> from the other side of the room. Oh, just glare back at her. That's what I do with my cats is I just glare at them and then they stop. <laughs> They're funny though. The cats are funny when they're mad. Um, poor Callie, we had to trim her nails the other day. And um, she has always, from the time she was a kitten, she's almost in April, she'll be 15. And from the time she was a kitten, she hated, hated getting her nails trimmed. We've tried the burrito thing. We've tried the, um, you know, all sorts of different things. We finally, with the vet's permission, we've found a way that I grab her and I lay her down on the couch and I hold on to the scruff of her neck so she stops moving and we trim her nails. Well, fortunately, she's the gummy cat. But boy, this last time she just turned around and tried to bite my husband so hard. And he got his hand out of the way, but you could see the whole jaw just closing. Oh, she was mad after that. Even though we give her treats, she actually walked away from the treats after. So it was kind of funny. <laughs> Poor baby. Poor baby. Um, are these your last group of treatments? I see the, the S on the other one. Um, no, this is my third round out of four. So I'll have these treatments. I end the 10th. And then on April 19th, I go in and see the doctor for the check to make sure I'm still tumor free. And if I'm still tumor free, I have one more round as far as I know. Less things change. But as far as I know, it'll be four out of four. Um, hopefully, um, my, my hope is that I'll have them either early May or late June because, um, I, oh, well, that's something exciting I have to mention to you. I forgot about that. So, um, but yeah, but those, I'm hoping that it will be my last treatment because Cassie, my daughter is, is due July 20, uh, July 21st. Yes, July 21st. I had to think about that for a second. Um, she, and I told her, you know, if the, I remember how I was the last few weeks of my pregnancy. I told her if she just needs me to come, you know, make dinners to stick in the freezer or, um, you know, anything like that, or just, you know, help with laundry, whatever, I would just drop everything and go. So I'm hoping to get the treatments done before the July 1st deadline. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, Linda says she'll be right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, 
it's yeah I, I mean i'm at the point now where i know what to expect it's just a routine thing now um the the, the only thing that stresses me out is like, like i was talking yesterday was my mom's birthday and so i facetimed with my mom and my sister um was there and she <laughs> asked me how i'm feeling and I said, more than anything else, I'm psyching myself out because of how I know how I'm going to feel tomorrow afternoon once the, the the immunotherapy has been released from my body and how I start feeling after that. So, you know, I've already premedicated on all my allergy medicines because one of the first things it does is it triggers my um, allergic response, which... <laughs> I mean, sneezing, coughing in these days is not something you want to be seen doing all the time. So we've upped my meds. Every time I go into a treatment, I up my meds the few days before, and then I continue them until um, I'm done with the treatments and I start feeling a little bit better. So yeah. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty. it's pretty routine at this point. Um, three this month or this next three weeks, and then three whenever May or June that I get those done. Um, then I should be golden. So anyway, um, thank you, Teresa. I saw here. Thank you for the prayers. Um, your cat is funny. Daisy can't have any crunchy treats. Oh yeah. When you remove, well, Callie, now that she has no teeth in front, she only will eat dry food. It's crazy. She only eat dry food. So you're seeing her like she, she gets a couple pieces in her mouth and you see her like pushing them to the back of her mouth and chewing in her mouth. It reminds me of my grandmother, the one who taught me to crochet when she didn't have her tinctures in and she's trying to eat something where her mouth is just opening and closing. And it's just, it's kind of funny. Um, but our treats are hard treats because again, she doesn't like the soft ones. And um, it, it's really weird because the doctor told us we might need to start feeding her wet food. So we did. And she, she might eat it the first day, but after that, she won't touch it. So we, we have her on dry food, which is kind of funny. Fingers crossed, hope all goes well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Stephanie, thank you too. Um, and my daughter, what a lucky daughter. My mom did that for me um, when I was pregnant with both my kids. Um, she only lives 40 minutes away from me. My daughter is two hours away, but that's okay. They have a guest. They're moving into a new um, they're moving out of their 600 square foot apartment and moving into a three bedroom house, um, for rent, um, in a couple weeks. So, um, they have an extra bedroom for me <laughs> if I need it. So, but my mom was my, a lifesaver when my husband went back to work and I had my son, I had had a C-section and then three weeks later after my C-section with Tyler, I had, uh, gallbladder surgery because I had a gallbladder attack when he, I was five months pregnant with him. And so my husband had to go back to work and he was there for the surgery, the second surgery, but he had to go back to work. So my mom would come every morning, just about the time he left for work and he had a long drive to work. Um, it was about 45 minutes to an hour every morning. So she would arrive and she'd help me because I was, you know, after two abdominal surgeries, I was uh, not moving real easy. So she would lift Tyler and help me with the nursing and she would do laundry for me and she would just keep me company while I was recouping. So, you know, I, that's kind of what I know. And even when my daughter was born, she would come and, um, same thing because, you know, now I had two kids and it, if, if you have ever had more than one child, you know, that the second one feels like all of a sudden you have 10, <laughs> I, seriously, I had just gotten into a routine with Tyler and now I had this other little infant again. And so she would help me with that, especially since, um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys a story, but when Tyler was born or when Cassie was born, Tyler was 22 months old. And when I brought her home from the hospital, he would not touch me. He would not hug me. He would not kiss me. He would not come sit next to me for like six weeks. I mean, like at least a month. Um, and so, you know, my mom dealt with him and Dave dealt with him until one day, I don't know what it was, but one day he just decided that he needed his mom and he cuddled up next to me and it was fine after that, but he was so mad. I brought home another baby that he just didn't want, to, well, I guess it was two weeks, the first two weeks that he was, it was 
It wasn't a month. It was it was between two weeks and a month. I can't remember anymore. He's he's twenty five now, so it's been a lot long, long time. But yeah, but he was so mad. So yeah, so my mom helped with that a lot. Um, and I think he was mad too because even when I was pregnant, um, he was just beginning to start. Well, I found out I was pregnant with Cassie the first day he took his first step. And um, when I had morning sickness really bad with Cassie. And so I would stick him in his crib and then run to the the restroom when I had morning sickness. Um, So he hated that too. (laughs) So poor kid. He got a lot when his sister was born. Um, Let's see here. Gobble out of stuff is rough. (laughs) Yeah. It's interesting. Um, the doctors told me that gallbladder is common with pregnancy and gallbladder disease runs in my family. Anyway, my sisters had hers removed. My mom, my grandmother had issues. So, um, um, the only thing is, is that my mom didn't have her gallbladder removed until she was in her sixties, even though she had issues with it from the time she was pregnant with me. So, um, (laughs) For me, though, it was like three weeks after Tyler was born, I was eating, I was literally subsisting on dry pasta, nothing on it, not even butter. (laughs) I mean, literally just cooked pasta with maybe a little bit of salt to make it go down easy. And I had a gallbladder attack and the doctor said, nope, it's coming out. (laughs) So yeah, it's gallbladder is not easy. I'm glad it was one of the better things I did for myself, though, uh, as a new mom, because I, I I didn't have to worry about what my diet was like as far as, you know, with kids being busy and stuff. So especially those first few months after it was gone, I mean, I could eat the things I needed to to nurse. So <laughs> it was so much better after that. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much everything. I Oh, no, I said I was going to tell you one other thing that's happening. Um the weekend of June 4th and 5th um, here in the Pacific Northwest. And I, I know nobody here right now, unless you're just watching behind the scenes and haven't popped into the comments. Um, here in the Pacific Northwest, we have an event called Fiber Fusion. It's here in the state of Washington. And it was used to be only like 25 minutes from my house when I was living on the west side of the state. Now I have to drive four hours to get over there. Um, but I'm still going to do it because it's an amazing event and I will be there live. I'm so excited. Um, I will have a booth in the vendor market. I'll have all my books. Um, it's, if you haven't been there, I'm going to put it in the comments here. Oh, I should mention too. Um, I'm going to put the um, website. It's called Fiber Fusion Northwest and I can't type today. Um, and then it's HTTP. Okay. I'm putting it in the comments, but I'm also going to put it on my screen. Um, there we go. So, um, it used to be in the, in October pre pandemic, um, it used to be the same weekend that Rhinebeck in New York always used to be. And after when the pandemic started and they had to cancel two years in a row, they decided in the middle of it all, well, they didn't decide, the fairgrounds that it's held at decided that um, something else, I guess, was going to go in. So they were, were given a few other dates. So they moved it to June, which actually for me being on the east side of the state now is so much better. Um, so... Um, because otherwise I'd be driving through snowy mountains and I, I probably wouldn't be doing this show anymore. So we moved it to June. It's going to be every June and probably the first weekend in June from now on. So if you ever want to go, I mean, they have classes, they have live animals. So you can see that it's almost like a mini Rhinebeck in in the Pacific Northwest. So if you ever want to head out this direction and, and go to a fiber show, they're, they're doing knitting, crochet, spinning, weaving, um, this year's vendor market, at last count, were 71 vendors. Um, nobody's really a crochet-centric uh, as much as I am. So um, I used to teach classes for them. I haven't in the last few years because I need to find somebody that will work the booth while I am teaching classes. So I haven't pitched any classes yet, but I do want to do that in the future, um, especially now that I'm, I'm feeling 
I'm going to be feeling better again. So, um, so anyway, that's the deal <laughs> I was going to talk about in June. So, um, I will be leaving like the third to set up the booth. And then, um, the weekend is the fourth and the fifth, and then, um, I'll be home. I'll be home. So I'll be doing my live the next Wednesday. And I can tell you guys all about it if you didn't get to go. But if you are going, make sure you stop by my booth. I don't have a booth number yet. I'm supposed to get it sometime this week. So maybe once I get off this call, I'll, I'll know. But um, it's an awesome event. So um, if you ever get a chance to come out this way, that you fly, you can fly through into Seattle or you can fly into Everett, which is where I used to live. There was an airport like five minutes from my house. And it's just a short drive from the Everett um, airport if you want to go. And there's a lot of hotels out that way. Or if you decide to go and you, you're looking for a place to stay, let me know. And I can give you all the, all the different places. So anyway, so Linda said, the vet told me cats don't chew their crunchy food. They swallow it whole. I mean, you can't food she never eat. And she wants, oh, well, that's good. At least she's eating it. So that's good. Callie won't do it. I mean, just maybe the first day. But after that. She's chewing it because you can hear her cracking it in the back. <laughs> so, um, so my Callie's not swallowing it whole. Um, and same thing with Amber. You can hear her chewing. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe my cats are different. I don't know. But they, they've always, you can hear them chewing. So comments like, because you had a phone call. No worries. <laughs> don't worry about that. I would love to go, but that's in the middle of car show season. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I have a friend out on the West side who's, he's a big Ed soul guy. And he, that's when he, well, his season starts Memorial day with the Memorial day parade in Everett. So, and then he's always off to car shows after that. So yeah, it is, but it's a, it's fun. It's a fun show. So if you, if you guys ever decide to come out this way in June, that time of year, let me know. So I'll, most likely I'll be there. <laughs> Unless something changes, like my daughter decides to have another baby and it's due in June that time, you know, so those kinds of things will change. But for, the, for right now, I'm planning to be there every year. And I'm really excited too, because this is their 10th year. And it is, um, uh, well, their 10th year was really in 2020. Um, but this is the 10th show, I guess is the best way to do it, to say it. And um, they have grown by so big that we've had to move to a bigger building on the fairgrounds. So it used to be really, really close to the parking lot. And now we're farther in. Um, in fact, it's where when my son was in um, uh, FFA or Future Farmers of America um, in high school, that's where he used to show his bunnies. <laughs> so um, it's a big room. So uh, that's about it for me, guys. Um, Anybody have any questions for me? I've probably got another like 10 minutes before I have to go. So today is F class and then I skip next week. And then on the, the 9th is my last class. And then we'll be back to normal schedule again after the 9th. But uh, I thought I'd throw out to see if anybody has any questions or wants to talk about anything, ask me anything. Um, oh, you guys probably noticed back here I have washed away, um, uh, what do you call it? A super saver, it's a red heart super saver. That's been hiding down below and brought it up because I'm gonna be doing some videos on an old pattern. Um, and since my daughter, it's a baby pattern. So I'm doing one in pink and one in blue. I might give end up giving one to my daughter. Um, now that she's pregnant, but it's an baby pattern that I'm gonna actually do kind of like a crochet along on video. Um, I probably won't start it till next month. Um, I want to see how I get through my first treatment before I actually start it. But that's something that you are going to um, see coming up as well. Getting ready, getting ready to start. Oh, the, um, the adorn shawl for the pattern club. Good. I'm excited. If, I hope you guys get um, a chance to pop into the forum and start chatting there on the new pattern. Um, I did post the video. And then for those of you who weren't part of the Zoom call last week and may not have gone onto the website or, or checked out anything, um, the pattern was missing the chart for the edging. 
<laughs> and I've had that since updated. My graphic artist got that fixed for me really quick, faster than I was expecting. And I did send out an email on Monday saying to re-download it and it should be there. Um, I, I went through and really studied before I updated the pattern on the on the uh, on the website. So um, I had a couple of people tell me they were able to download it fine, but I still, if you have trouble and you, you're still downloading the old pattern, let me know. Um, but if you haven't done that, go ahead and, and do that because I'm going to eventually be taking the, the edging pattern out of the forum. I just haven't had time to do that. So um, just so you guys know that that's there. Um, so Teresa, it worked for you. Okay, good. Um, awesome. So let me know if anybody has trouble, let me know. Um, oh, and for those of you who are pattern testers, I apologize. It's been a rough couple weeks with that super secret pattern. Uh, I do have a pattern that has come back to me that I'm ready to have tech, uh, to have tested. Um, I'm waiting until probably Monday to post that test because I want to see first how I'm feeling because every month, every time I have these treatments, sometimes I get really good and sometimes I'm really poor. So I want to see how the first one goes. And if I'm not feeling up to it, I might wait till after all the treatments are done before I post the next test. Um, but I just, I just, I just need to get through that first one. So there you go. Stephanie says, I finally finished row 80 on elementary. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> I understand that. In fact, um, this summer I, I decided that my nieces and nephews who have kids, my great nieces and nephews all need hats and mittens for Christmas this year. So I have two four, five, six, seven, eight, nine great nieces and nephews. <laughs> so I figured if I start in like June after the show, I might be able to get them all done. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I, I've got to get a few more patterns for this year or for next year done. Um, and behind the scenes, I'm working on the, the, the new membership site. So be watching for the, all that fun detail as well. Um, that's coming soon. And the new logo is starting to shape up really well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and as soon as I have more details, um, that's one of the things I'm going to be working on on my downtime with these treatments is I have a list of, of things that I want to add to the membership site. So I'm going to um, figure out what I can do now and then what will be added in pieces later on. So, okay. Um, anybody have a question for me? Anything you want to talk about? Um, share with me. I don't know what else I'm, I'm working on. Um, there's a couple things I'm working on behind the scenes that I can't talk about. Um, oh, I know what I mentioned. I was going to say this before. Um, You'll notice that my glasses don't have that purple or white anymore on the screen. And that's because I've got a new setup for my monitor. Um, I have my monitor now on an arm that allows me to, to angle it. So my camera is up here. And then when I, you see me looking down, I'm looking at my monitor. And so I can see your chat over here on the monitor. I can see me here, what I look like on the screen for you guys but the camera's up there. And so it's so much better. So this way I can um, stay here because you guys all said you liked seeing all my yarn and, um, but the glare's gone. So I feel much better about what this is doing for me. So if this looks good to you, let me know. If it doesn't look good to you, let me know too. But it feels like even the lighting's better because I've moved the monitor down. So I'm actually thinking I might take my class with my monitor down like this um, and see how that goes for me. <laughs> Anyway, anybody have any questions or anything you want to talk about? Um, Linda just posted and said, I'm working on another protocol for a friend with metastatic breast cancer. Oh, going for a fall. Oh, man. I'm pro I'll be put her in my prayers too, Linda. Um, every time I hear somebody with breast cancer, that's especially metastatic, 
I just, oh, it just gives me chills. I feel, uh, uh, I'm hoping she's doing okay. So, yeah, let us know. Teresa says it does seem much better. So good. Okay, so there's not, my face on this side still seems a little whiter, white her than this side. Um, and that's just because the light from the window is coming in. Um, but um, it's not as bad as it was. And this looks good. Feels like we're back at home. Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Although you so you can see my, um, I have a box here. That's got, that's the box that the arm for the monitor came in. I have to like, recycle. So you're getting, and the lighting's really good. Okay. Perfect. So now I know what's going on. So at least during the day, I know this is going to work. Now, nighttime classes are when it's really dark and gloomy. I don't know what is going to happen when I do this. So we'll, we'll be working along. So if you ever take a Zoom class from me in the evenings um, and it's darker in here, um, you guys can help me figure out what's going on. But maybe this will work better from now on. Um, Stephanie says it looks better too. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because even just looking at my camera, because I use my, my cell phone as the camera and um, the yarn colors behind me look so much truer than they, they did have before. And even when I held up this, it looked almost true to what they really are. So yes, and exactly, Linda. Um, I, I was using a different background um, on a couple of Zoom calls lately because I, this behind me was such a mess from reorganization. Um, but I won't be doing that much anymore. Um, I'm going to be moving like this thing. I'm going to move this out of the way into a different spot because it's really not in a spot where I, I really like anyway. So, and it's a mess. <laughs> it's all my filing system, um, part of my filing system. I have a file cabinet underneath it. And then I have a big white four drawer next to it on the other side. So, um, I'm going to be changing a few things back here around. Um, I'm going to add some couple things to my walls too, just so that when you see those walls, um, there's something there. It's not just so blah, at least for me. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I am going to sign off unless anybody else has anything else you want to chat about or want to ask me about. I think I covered all the bases with testing. I talked about fiber fusion. I talked about my new setup here. I talked about um, my projects. I'm hoping next week I'll have a little bit more. I'm waiting for a new book to come in that I'm excited about. Um, and the yarn that I was supposed to have yesterday. Um, so, <laughs> So Kelly says, have a great rest of your week. Uh, so I, you guys have definitely have a great rest, rest of your week. I'm, um, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be completely at a commission. Oh, I knew there was one other thing I was forgetting. Um, so I, I'll probably talk about this on Wednesday next week when we have our Zoom. But I just want to let you guys know ahead of time that um, because Ash Wednesday is next week, um, what I've decided to do this year for, for my Lenten thing, and I know uh, as, uh, you know, not everybody does things for Lent, but for me, what I, what I usually have done in the past is completely get off Facebook and stay off Facebook and keep Instagram going this year. I'm getting off all social media except for YouTube videos because, um, I need time to reflect on social media in general. <laughs> And this Lent, um, it, there's, it, I just feel like this poll that there's a lot with social media. I'm not, that, that it just kind of brings my attitude down. And so I, I want to reflect on without any social media, except for YouTube videos, my lives are not going away guys. Um, so just to kind of reflect on wh what I'm using it for, if it's working for me, and if I want to continue in the way I am using it. So um, there will be a notice going up on, on Ash Wednesday that on both of my feeds, um, both YouTube and, uh, not YouTube, on uh, Facebook and on Instagram, that other than pre-scheduled posts, I am going to be completely off of 
Instagram and Facebook until after Easter. So if you follow me in either one of those places, I will still have things posted because I have a new pattern being released at the end of March. I have a pattern release in April um, and a few other things. So just so you guys know what's going on there. So, okay. Everybody have a great rest of your week. Praying for an easy treatment. Thank you, Linda. I need that easy treatment. I, that would be awesome. Rumble automatically uploads these videos, so it'll go up on Rumble. Yeah, so it, it's the live streams that will still continue. And I'm hoping that, as because I'm not going to be using social media as much, um, I will be posting, you know, I'll be recording a lot of videos because I have this pile of stuff stacked up that I need to do video on over here. And um, the first one I'm going to record next week for sure. Um, and then um, every new pattern that I'm doing now, I'm recording some video for it to help people learn how to do things. So um, like that's what's happening. All four patterns are over here right now with um, yarn waiting to be um, videoed. So there you go. Okay, guys, well, have a very blessed week. I will see you next week at 10 a.m. Pacific, which is 1 Eastern, I believe. So um, have a great rest of your week. I will see you next time. And thank you for being here. You guys are, you have no idea how much this really helps me <laughs> to just have time to chat with you guys. So thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, Stephanie just said, have a great weekend. If you're, yes, stay warm and safe, guys. The, the weather is so weird right now. So have a great one. I will talk to you all next week. Bye, y'all.